Hello and welcome to the Volt RIM demo series. I'm your solution consultant, David. Today I want to talk about Volt Submissions Archive, which is part of the Volt RIM suite. Volt Submissions Archive provides you with powerful cloud-based capabilities to access your complete history of directory submissions and health authority interactions globally with an easy to use interface. There are a number of key capabilities that the application provides. Work globally, given that it's a cloud-based application requiring no software, Submissions Archive provides a centralized repository for sharing global filings across the organization. It supports both ECTD and non-ECTD formats, such as NIS, EAEU, Paper, etc. The application enables faster and more accurate interactions with a built-in viewer, which allows you to easily navigate through the dossier in the current sequential or cumulative view. More so, the powerful search and filtering capabilities allow you to find the right content quickly. Finally, the published outputs are stored securely with dynamic access controls, meaning that only the right people can see the right content. The application complies with 21 CFR Part 11 and EU GMP Annex 11 requirements. Let's have a look at it. My starting point is the viewer. This is where I can find all of my dossiers or published outputs. First, I select the application for which I want to view the dossier. In this case, I'm looking at the Enalapril DCP application. And then I can further refine my dossier by filters on the left hand side. So in this case, I have eight sequences. I can also refine by status, submission type, actual submission date, etc., etc. As I've mentioned before, there's even a set of advanced filters which give me more control in how I find the information I need. For example, I want to find all of the sequences and associated documents where the manufacturer is Viva from Brussels. Vault quickly finds out that indeed the two sequences where this manufacturer has been published was in sequence five and six. I can then define which sequence I want to have a look at and this is the one. From here, of course, I can visualize all of the documents. I can see the leaf information. I can see the historical life cycle of this document, etc., etc. But even more so, I can open the actual document and visualize it in line. This gives me the content. It gives me the metadata on the right hand side. And also it gives me the table of contents on the left side. So from here, I can easily navigate to any other document if I have to without having to go back to the navigator. The true value of this platform is the fact that the documents and data are connected on the same platform, meaning that from here, I can open the record of the application and see the details behind. So I can see what this application is all about, but also I can use Vault Submissions Archive for planning and tracking of my directory objectives, my submissions. So here I can really have my dates, statuses, all of that nicely tracked. This wouldn't be a complete Vault showcase without touching on the power of reporting in Vault. Submissions Archive comes with this powerful capability as well, which allows you to report on any data or documents you have in Vault and also represent those in dashboards. Application chronology is a very good example of what is possible. Here we can see chronologically how our application has been progressing through the time in terms of the sequences that were submitted or are being planned to be submitted, the rector objectives that we had approved or are waiting for the approval, and any of the health authority interactions we had in terms of commitments and correspondence. In a nutshell, Vault Submissions Archive provides you with an authoritative source for your submissions and correspondence, enabling you faster and more accurate interactions with the health authorities around the world. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more information, please visit our website.